online lecture of vehicle testing and homologation. I am Milan Trivedi, assistant professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. We are actually discussing about the chapter number one of vehicle testing and homologation. So far in this chapter number one, we had already covered the definition of homologation. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the different testing agencies in India, which is actually providing the homologation services. Basically, all these testing agencies report to the government. They work under the different, different ministry of the government, right? So, in India, we are having seven different testing organizations which is performing this homologation process. The first one is ERAI. ERAI is actually stands for Automotive Research Association of India. The second testing agency is VRDE, that is Vehicle Research and Development Establishment. The third agency, that is a CIRT, Central Institute of Road Transport. The fourth agency, that is the Indian Institute of Petroleum. The fifth agency, that is the CFM TI, that means Central Farm Machinery Training and Testing Institute. Sixth agency that is working is ICAT, that is the International Center of Automotive Technology. And the seventh agency which is working, that is the Northern Region Farm Machinery Training and Testing Institute. We are going to elaborately discuss about this all different testing agencies which is working in India. Let us start with the first agency. The first agency that is the ERAI. ERAI stands for Automotive Research Association of India. It physically appears like this. But what we actually need to discuss is what are the different key features of that particular organization. But before even starting with that, let us have a brief outlook of where does this particular organization belongs to and when it was established. So let us have the quick outlook over that. The first point we need to discuss is that it is located in the Kothrud region of the Pune. Second, that it works for the comprehensive certification and the homologation process. By this word comprehensive, I literally mean that it takes the entire process of certification of homologation. That whatever the test required for the homologation process has been performed at this particular agency that is a ERAI. It functions under the heavy ministry industry. As I told that all these organizations works under the specific government organizations in which ERAI works under this heavy ministry industry. It was established in the year 1966. It is one of the oldest organization. Next, we are going to discuss about this key features. It works in the area of testing and validation. It performs a variety of different, different tests, right for the fuel, uh, fuel emission test, uh, than exhaust gas emission testing, than the different air requirement test, the chis dynamometer test, that all different kinds of tests are been performed at this ERAI. Next area working parameter is the design and development. That is a huge field to work on. They are also working in that particular aspect. The second key features which we are going to discuss is the work environment. They are also working in this field of metrology that is uh, related to the measurement. They are working in the field of calibration. Calibration is to check against the standards. If there are certain measuring instrument, we need to check that particular measuring instrument is giving accurate reading or not. So we need to have a proper calibration process. So they are performing the calibration process and the next one is the process simulation. That is one of the most important aspect. This process simulation literally means that physically we are not uh, doing any test, but we are simulating that in certain software. So in original that material is existing that will be shown in the computer screen and we can perform a number of tests on that. So in reality that would not be existing, but still we can correlate that real fact without damaging any of the object. So that is about the ERAI. The another aspect, last three aspect we are going to discuss is, it works for the advisory, that it gives the expert advice, it works in the area of consulting and it is working on the field of standardization that to give the standards, ISO standards, SE standards, they are having affiliation with that, they are working on that domain as well. So that's all about this ERAI agency. Now let us discuss about the second testing agency that is a vehicle research development establishment. This vehicle research and development establishment is actually working under the DRDO, that is working for the defense segment. 
this is one of the secretive agency but basically the main feature of this VRD is to give the homologation services for the defense vehicles. That defense vehicles which are specially designed has been tested or homologated at this particular VRD establishment. So let us have a quick outlook over that where does it located and all. It is located at the Ahmadinagar region. Again, it is giving the comprehensive certification and homologation services, but yes, the basic key feature area is about the defense vehicles. I already informed that it functions under the Ministry of Defense. So that is the main location part. Now let us have an outlook of establishment. It is established in the year 1965. It is working in the field of design and development. It is having a main feature that the automobile chases and trailer design. They can have a good R&D facility for this particular domain. Another aspect that it works for the aerial vehicles, right? Again, some of the aerial vehicles are being used in the defense purpose for just to strengthen our military and the defense services. So the checking part of that particular vehicle has been done at this VRDE. Another aspect that is checking the electrical and the electronic system of the automobile. Next part is the home location of all the defense vehicles that I had already covered. So that's all about this VRD. The another testing agencies which is working in India that is the Central Institute of Road Transport. Here you need to remember this word road transport. All the vehicles which is providing the common transportation for facility and working under the government segment such as buses, uh, state transport buses that will be get home located at this particular CIRT organization. So let us have a brief understanding of some of the key features or the general description of this CIRT. CIRT is located in Pune. It is again taking the comprehensive certification of home location services and it works under the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. It was established in the year 1966. It is having the accreditation of all the bus builders. You can have a chassis design, you can have a trailer design of all the different buses and it provides the inspection services to the buses. Another aspect of CIRT that is, it is mostly involved in the conformity of production and the type approval test. This type approval actually designates the different category of the vehicle. It works in the area of providing the training to the different employees, to the different even classes of the people who can want to do the business in that particular field or the, in the driving zone or not to come. It is working in the formulation of the standard as well in such area at which the ERAI is working on. The last three features of the CIRT is basically it works for the certification of even e-rickshaws that is will be trending in the coming days now. It is homologating the various buses and trucks and lastly homologation of the international brands like Volvo is also being homologated at the Central Institute of Road Transport. The next agency and the last agency in our today's presentation is the Indian Institute of Petroleum. Basically this Indian Institute of Petroleum is working in the field of the biofuel research. Basically this biofuel research is required just to replace the biodiesel. Lot of research has been going into that particular field. IIP is located in the Dehradun. It provides the collaborative work of homologation. By this word collaborative, I literally mean that they are not independently doing the homologation process, but they are undertaking the pro this project of homologation in collaboration with certain other agencies. So if some agencies require the help of this particular homologation, then it will be carried out under this Indian Institute of Petroleum. Another aspect is it functions under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. The another aspect of Indian Institute of Petroleum that it is established in the year 1960. It is having extensive research facility of the biofuel and the primary domain area is the at work under this tribology. So finally, we are keeping up to this.
Thanks for watching.